Hi everybody, I'm Mark Little, executive producer for WWE 2K15, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the gameplay improvements on PS4 and Xbox One that you can see coming out on November 18th. When you jump into the game, the first thing you'll see is each superstar's HUD located at the bottom of the screen. Your overall health is represented by a large green meter. There are three levels to the meter, which gradually change from green to yellow and then from yellow to red as you take more punishment. When you take damage, you'll notice orange segments appear in the health meter. This is known as temporary damage, and over time, it slowly regenerates if you continue to avoid taking damage. Right below the health meter is the stamina meter. Just like the health meter, there are three levels of stamina which range from light blue to purple. Most of the actions you perform will use some of your stamina. When stamina is depleted, you can still go on offense and defend yourself, but you won't have the ability to perform signatures or finishers. The number just below the stamina meter represents your momentum. Your momentum will increase by going on offense or successfully reversing your opponent's attacks. At 100%, you earn a signature maneuver, and at 150% momentum, superstars will earn a finisher. Players in possession of a signature and a stored finisher can easily toggle between the two by pressing the right bumper. You can check the health of your superstar by pressing the view button, which will display your individual limb's health. Your opponent's limb target health is automatically displayed at any time you utilize limb targeting. One of the first things you'll see in WWE 2K15 is our new chain wrestling system. This is something that we brought to the game to add more realism and improve the overall pacing and flow of the game. Some superstars have a great advantage in chain wrestling due to their ratings, and this can help them take an early lead in a match. Other superstars such as Big Show and Brock Lesnar don't involve in chain wrestling because that's just not part of their style. Chain wrestling can be tuned or disabled in the game balancing options. Chain wrestling starts by grabbing your opponent in a collar and elbow tie-up. Once you're in this hold, you can press the X button to transition to a wrist lock, the Y button to a side headlock, and the B button to a waist lock. It's a simple game of rock, paper, scissors. After you've transitioned out of the collar and elbow tie-up, you'll find yourself in a chain wrestling hold. From there, you search for the hot spot by rotating the right stick. When you find the hotspot, the controller rumbles and the meter begins to fill with red. Whoever fills their meter first gains the upper hand. This back and forth wages on until one of the two participants' stamina hits level two. At that point, you'll transition into the next phase of the match, which is focused on grappling and damaging your opponent. Anyone who has played previous WWE games should be instantly familiar with our controls. The X button strikes, Y performs signatures and finishers, B Irish whips, and A grapples. Hold left trigger to run and press right trigger when prompted to perform a reversal. WWE 2K15's new grapple controls allow players to execute weak and strong grapples by holding any direction on the left stick and then either pressing or holding the A button to attempt the grapple. To grab your opponent in a front face lock, press the A button while the control stick is in a neutral position. Once you've got them in this hold, press any direction on the left stick and then press the A button to perform a grapple attack. In addition to the grapple attacks, you can also perform limb targeting moves by holding the right trigger and pressing any of the face buttons or press and hold A to perform a submission. One of our big focuses for WWE 2K15 was adding more realism into the game. And one of the key changes in our gameplay this year is the addition of stamina, which allows us to have the superstars change how they wrestle and how they approach wrestling through the course of a match. Just like in real life, most actions in the game have a stamina cost associated with them. The bigger the move, the higher the stamina cost. Stamina allows you to integrate new, unique animations, things like strike reversals, climbing to the top rope, and even later in matches, desperation pins. Total stamina and stamina recovery rates vary for each superstar Guys like Big Show, for instance, who have lower stamina and stamina recovery need to better regulate their offensive output. However, this weakness is offset by his incredible power, which allows him to inflict significant damage in fewer offensive moves. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and stay tuned for more exciting information about WWE 2K15.